Here's an exercise that Bill Frizzell has contributed and has a lot of different techniques and musical approaches to it. I'll be playing it on a Telecaster and I'll use the position where I have both pickups on. Just a clean sound, roll the tone off just a little bit and I'm going to demonstrate it. This thing's a very fluid kind of exercise and he explains that you can take passages and extract them out and just listen to what's going on. It's really good for keeping your left hand fingers upright. So I'll demonstrate it for you. Let me break this down for you. You can hear how it's obviously got a lot of chromaticism and it has that cross-string arpeggio approach. So here we go. It's going to be a hybrid picking exercise. So you're using a downstroke with a pick and your middle and ring fingers. I suggest you start off with three fingers down for the initial passage. Your first, third, and fourth fingers are down on the E flat. Third fingers on the F. Fourth fingers on the E uh, D over here. So you go down, ring, pick up your third finger, get that E flat. So it's like you're playing this, but that's monophonic. So here you have, then go over, down, middle, ring. Hear the difference? You play it on one string, or, so you've got to keep your fingers upright. Second measure, you're going to move your first finger down and your third finger down. So you have the D, C, B, then you play the B flat and the A. You've got to really keep clearing those other strings. Then you shift down with your fourth finger from that A you had. Your first finger stays on that A sharp or B flat. Now I changed a fingering here. When you go up G sharp, A sharp, open B, fourth finger on the C sharp, I used my first finger on this D sharp because I wanted to be able to get... I want to keep that E ringing. So, shift down. I haven't been giving you the right hand finger. I'll rattle that off later on. Then your A flat, or excuse me, B flat, A, bigger stretch. More of that chromaticism. Then, they have third and first fingers. You might want to use your fourth and your second. That way you don't have to go. Either way is going to work. Then you have A, A flat, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Then you simply have a G major scale ascending in this cross string approach. G, A, B, C, then the D. F sharp G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp G. I said I would give you the right hand fingering that I've worked out for this, so I'm just going to call it out measure by measure. First measure is down, ring, middle, down, middle, ring. Second measure, middle, down, ring, middle, down, middle. Third measure, down, middle, ring, down, middle, ring. Next measure, Middle, ring, middle, down, middle, ring. Excuse me, ring, middle on the end there. Let me repeat that measure. This is the fourth measure. Middle, ring, middle, down, ring, middle. Last measure of the first line, down, middle, ring, down, middle, ring. Okay, sixth measure. Middle, down, ring, middle, down, ring. Next measure is middle, down, ring, then middle, down, middle. And then for the G major scale that's ascending, it'll be down, middle, down, middle, ring, down, middle, ring. And the last measure is down, ring, down, middle, ring, down, middle. I suggest you write those in in pencil above the notes and practice this passage in little segments. And you know, as a, it's strictly an exercise. Obviously, it's very out sounding. But what it teaches you is how to view the guitar utilizing open strings and cross string scales. I mean, that is just a huge universe, especially if you've always been a player who played in traditional positions or didn't utilize those open strings. So I encourage you to explore and use this into your lines and even in chord voicings. I mean, it's just huge.